last year in November, I was flying from Rome to Toronto and uh, one of my colleagues on the flight said, oh, they have a priest that came and gave us this cross and these medals. And I was not working where he was. Then later on, when I finished to do my service, I went to the back to say thank you to him. And uh, he was very kind. He, you can see that it was so genuine and uh, he offered some more and all of that. And I could not take him out of my mind. The next day in the morning, I was having breakfast and I got a message from him saying, just in case that you don't remember, I'm the priest that was in your flight yesterday. And we start to talk and I said to him, I would like to know more about it, the mission. And during this time, that was in November, then December came, I started to do my first uh, fasting. But I didn't know what to do and how to do it. And uh, I didn't feel that I was doing properly. Then came April for Easter, I contacted him and I said, Father, it would be very nice if I knew exactly what to do. And then he started to send me some videos and um, I did, but I didn't feel that I did right again. Then uh, when um, he put me in contact with you, Claudia, and thank you so much. You start to give more information, things to read and what to eat, what kind of bread and how many times and all of that. And during my second and my third fast, eh, I really need some prayers and all of that because of what was going on with my son's uh, anorexia. And he got hospitalized twice during this time. And uh, I was always asking Father Claudio to, to pray for us. And he said to me, it doesn't have anything more powerful than a fast and a prayer of a mom. And it is there that I did my second fasting and I gave all the prayers and all my, my fasting for my son's health then uh, I still feel didn't, that I didn't make the things right because I didn't know that you had to read about um, Luisa Picareta. I didn't know that you have to go to mass every day, that you had to do the confession before you start your fasting. It means all of this information I got through your group, Claudia. And um, then this time, I did my first confession before I start my fasting. My fasting start on a Tuesday, October the 27. Then on the 26, I went, I did my confession. And for, during the, my husband said to me, I will do it with you this time. And we did the whole time together. We went to mass every day. We pray the rosary every day. We did uh, the divine mercy every day. And it has been such a blessing because we can see his improvement of uh, my son. He's living now with us. And um, it, it is wonderful. It is wonderful. It is hard. I don't say that it is not hard to be. And if it is not Jesus in being with us and guiding us, it is very hard to do the 40 days. People that has done the 40 days knows that some days are harder than other days, but with God, nothing, it is impossible. And we always have to ask him to guide and direct our path. Um, I, I'm very glad that I found that support group and um, all the readings that I got there when I got at St. John Bosco. It is just before my confession on the Monday, October the 26th. And I gonna tell that helps me a lot to go and do that deep confession. And uh, the church, it is very supportive. I'm from Brazil and I would like to confess things that most of the people that had lived in Brazil knows what I'm talking. And when I went to my um, priest, 
I ask him where I can find somebody that speaks Portuguese because I don't want it to hide anything. I, I wanted to put it out, everything that it is inside of me. And then he gave me a name. I went, I talked. The priest was wonderful. He helps me a lot. He gave me all the sacraments, even the salt. He gave me to bring home and uh, put it on my son's water and in his food and all of that. And has been amazing to see all the difference that he was back in December when I first reached for Father Claudio. And now it is completely different. And between me and my husband, I found that both of us in going that journey together has been such a great blessings because now we are more patient. We have been doing things together. And when you do things together, you grow together. Then I'm re really thankful for all of your help. And I'm open if anybody wants to ask me any question, I will be pleased to answer through our chat or if they wanted to call me, Enza, that it is part of our group. She knows me for many years from the church and uh, she saw all the struggles that we had gone through and she can see the difference right now too. Then it is, it is emotional, it is beautiful. Thank you so much.